Hey beautiful people, it's Sunshine Step Mompreneur of the Stay at Home Mompreneur Success Blog. And today we are going to talk about defining your niche. So we have your target audience, we've done that, we know how to define our target audience and we know why it's super important for us to define our target audience. So today I want to talk to you about narrowing that down a little bit to hone in on your niche. What is your niche within that market, okay? Um, as you can see, I have on my board categories good, better, and best. Once you've gotten your target audience, chances are it falls into the good or the better category. It probably falls into one of these, but there's something better. There's, there's a, a best category that you can narrow that down into to be more specific of what you're talking about, who you're talking to, and what your specialty is with those people that you're talking to. So I'm going to run through a few examples, right? And I'll start with myself. My target audience is stay-at-home moms. But that's pretty broad. It can be even broader, but it can also be more narrow. So let's start with the broadest category um, that stay-at-home moms would belong to, which is moms, right? So moms, that's a good target audience. It's, it's decent, but it's really broad. We can make it better, right? So stay-at-home moms. But that can be narrowed down even more because there's, there's some stay-at-home moms that homeschool. There's some stay-at-home moms who are attachment parenters, meaning they like to uh, co-sleep with their families. They baby wear. They uh, maybe are into elimination communication. They may be homeschool. They home birth. All of that. You know, that's a, a group within the stay-at-home mom category as well. Um, there's some stay-at-home moms who work from home, like myself. There's some stay-at-home moms who are loaded with money they're not interested in working they get pampered all day long they get to go shopping all day they have chauffeurs they have chefs they have nannies you know and so they just kind of chill you have to decide or i i needed to decide who within the stay-at-home mom category am i talking to well remember from the video on how to define your target audience if you haven't watched that video on how to do that or why you need to do that go back and watch those before you continue watching this video i promise you this will make a lot more sense once you've already seen those videos okay so um you know that try, trying to talk to everybody is really talking to nobody so i needed to define within that who i'm speaking to more so i know that i'm talking to stay-at-home moms like myself who work from home working stay-at-home moms who maybe have a business they may be in network marketing or have a traditional business and they need a little bit of help with that business they need some help getting some leads they need some help getting people to join their business they need some help selling their products and selling their services that's my market that's who i can speak to because i've been there and now i can help you to get those things accomplished in your business so my niche would be working stay-at-home moms or mompreneurs or boss moms like i like to refer to us as okay but let's say you're someone who uh like my fiance you know you have this this gift with cars you work on cars you do different things with cars and now he even has this this special chip that allows you to almost double um and on some cars it will double your gas mileage so that's his new adventure that he's he's doing right now but let's say he wants to target people who have cars right car owners so his audience in general would be people with cars right but that is so broad that's so broad because you have suvs you have old school cars you have exotic cars you have luxury cars you have four-door sedans you have coupes you have all types of cars within this. That is just so broad. And for, for talking to people about doubling their gas mileage, well, who might you want to talk to? You definitely want to narrow this down some. And it'll make more sense to talk to people who have SUVs, right? SUVs, okay? So that's a little bit more narrow. But this can even be narrowed down some more. Um, like us, how he got into that. We have a Range Rover and it's supercharged. It eats up a lot of gas, okay? And a lot of those luxury SUVs do. So he may want to target people who have luxury SUVs, people who love their vehicles. They love them so much, but they eat up a lot of gas, especially with the gas prices these days. So he could narrow SUVs down even more into luxury SUVs or, you know, like those V those SUVs that maybe take premium gas versus regular gas like our truck does. So 
So we will break that down even further into luxury SUVs. Okay, now let's run through another example. This example I've done before. Um, I think in the why you need to define your target audience video, I talked about this a little bit. But let's say you're a makeup artist. So you do makeup, right? So um, let's say you think you want to target women, right? Well, I hope you're getting the idea here of where I'm going with this. As you can see, women is extremely broad. There's some women that don't like to wear makeup. There's some women that don't wake up wear makeup until they need to wear makeup or unless they're going out or they have to make, wear makeup. You know, moms fit into the categories of women. You know, so it is extremely broad. So we need to narrow that down even more. So what would be better um, targeting women might be You might target makeup and beauty enthusiasts, right? Women who love makeup, they love beauty care products, they love to pamper themselves and look good and do all of that, right? But you can narrow that down even farther. So let's think about this. How would we narrow that down even more? Perfect. You have some women who don't care what they put on their skin. They will wear any type of makeup as long as it looks good, as long as the colors pop, as long as they feel good about how they look after they've applied the makeup. They're not concerned with what's in it. They're not concerned with the ingredients um, or the toxic effect that it may have on their skin. But then there's some women who care about that stuff. So you may be a makeup artist that uses natural makeup, you know, like, like the bare minerals or, you know, I'm not really familiar with all of them, but things like that. So you may want to target, narrow it down more specifically into And I'm not going to write it all, but natural makeup enthusiasts. So that may be your niche within this broad category of targeting women to do makeup on. Maybe you only want to target the, the women who actually care about makeup and beauty in the first place. And then you want to target the ones who are into natural makeup. Um, you can break that down even further. Not this even further, but you can break this down into a different category as well instead of maybe the ones who like to wear natural makeup, maybe the ones who like a natural look. They're not concerned with the ingredients of the makeup, but they just want to look more natural. Or some who want to wear makeup for um, really like a transformation. They want to look very different. Or some who are wearing makeup because they're covering up blemishes and scars. You know, like they maybe have acne or, or dark spots on their face and that's why they're wearing the makeup. So you maybe have a deep coverage line that you use or um, a technique that you use that really helps to mask people's blemishes. I won't say flaws, but their blemishes on their face, right? So that's how you can break that down even further. So we've got mom, cars, women. And... I want to give you one. I'm going to leave you with one, and I want you to leave below in the comments your answer to how you would break this next category down, uh, make it a better market, and then make it a best, like make it the best that you can make it, like narrow it down even more into a specific niche. So let me think of a good one. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, so. I want you to break this down in the comments below. Tell me how you can narrow this down uh, to a, a, a okay market and then how you can make it even more specific as a niche. So we'll do, um, okay, so the, the occupation is personal trainer. So you're a personal trainer and you want to market people who are looking to lose weight. Okay, so your market right now is overweight people or people who are actively looking to lose weight. How can you narrow that down even further? And then how can you make it even better to be more specific to a niche? I would love to see your comments below. I want to make sure you got this. Let me know if there's anything more I can do to help you um, 
understand this a little bit better because it's a little bit tricky it was tricky for me at first and it took me a really long time to really hone in on my niche and get a good idea of who I was talking to and why I was talking to those people and again if you go back and watch the video on how to define your target audience that would help you with this exercise even more because you'll narrow down who you are you'll, you'll tell your story you'll get an idea of who you are and be able to break this down based on your own challenges that you've experienced in life and the way that you've overcome those challenges all right so I really hope that was helpful um, we probably shouldn't have to revisit this target audience deal for a really long time because now you know why you need one, you know how to do it, and you even know how to break it down even further to be more specific, to start making some money in your business right away, right away by targeting the right people, the people who are most like you, and the people who are most likely to buy your products and use your services. All right? So you can have breakdowns or you can have breakthroughs. Remember, the choice is up to you. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more trainings like this. Find me on Facebook. Go ahead and friend me. I don't bite. I would love to connect with you even more. And also visit my blog. I'll have all these videos up on the blog with even more explanation on um, more expansion and explanation of what I've talked about in the videos. All right? So see you next time.